This is weird. There's a lawsuit coming from a Florida police pension fund that is suing both Elon Musk and Twitter's board of directors. So this, in this article from Reuters, it says, Orlando police pension fund said Delaware County law forbid a quick merger because Musk had agreements with other big Twitter shareholders, Morgan Stanley and Jack Dorsey, to help his buyout. Quote, the fund said the agreement made Musk who owns 9.6% of the company and the effective owner more than 15% because I guess they're including those other two parties. It says that required delaying the merger by three years unless two thirds of the shares not owned by him granted approval. Quote, the lawsuit also seeks to declare that Twitter directors breached their fiduciary duties. So yeah, that part makes sense. Twitter was breaching their fiduciary duties at first because they seemed like they didn't want to make this deal, which they're getting bought out at a premium. So if they reject that just over political reasons, then that is a breach of their fiduciary responsibility. But the Musk side of this definitely seems like a reach. But that's the legal system for you. If somebody wants to sue somebody, there's very often a way to figure out how to do that. Whether it's legitimate or not, it'd still be a long, drawn-out lawsuit.